leading off for the United States. Down there in lane five, the other contenders, Russia four, Australia three, France six, below the Americans. So here we go. Boy, he is so good off the blocks. Gets great height and great speed off the blocks and already off to a brilliant start. Now he's got to manage this first 50. I'm going to repeat that a lot. Don't overswim your first 50. I know it's your first Olympic race, but you've got to save those legs coming home into the wall. You've really got to manage this early speed. And I'm talking about all the swimmers, not just Caleb Dressel. Brazil had the lead. Caleb Dressel was just behind. And Dressel is really churning the water down there in lane five. This is so important right now to get into the wall, to give Phelps an opportunity to get off the box. You're going to see him come back to the field a little bit. He's got to maintain this stroke, put his head down. No one loves the relays more than Michael Phelps, and into the water he goes with the United States in the second position. France down there in lane six had the slight lead as Phelps is churning the water. 48-1 for Dressel. That's the best time now. He's going against Chalmers from Australia up there in lane number three. That's the team I think that really has got a great shot of winning this. He was 47 flat earlier in the preliminaries, but he is way back. What a big turn. What a big turn. What a big turn by Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps rockets out ahead of Fabian Gilo in France who had the lead, but Phelps now has the lead for the Americans and he's about ready to give way to Ryan Held in his first final at an international meet and it's the big time at the Olympics and Phelps is going to give him a significant lead. Wow, the United States split. way out by more than a second over Australia as James Magnuson is in the water for the Aussies. 47-1 for Michael Phelps. Boy, the veteran did his job, didn't he? Now, once again, Calm yourself, Ryan Hill. Take it easy going into this first 50 here. Don't overswim it. Give Nathan Adrian, Adrian a chance. Nathan Adrian coming on in. This is a big time swim right now, early on, for a guy that has never been in this position ever. He's got Flo Matadu, who was a part of that French winning team four years ago. Hell is holding him off right now, and Nathan Adrian, the reigning Olympic champion of the 100 free, will try to bring it home for the United States. The lead will just be over France, which is about a half second behind Jeremy Stravios, whose clutch will try to chase Nathan Adrian down. I can tell you one thing. I don't think there's any way Australia, who came in as a favorite, way back in the back, can do it. The only team that can do it right now is France, and you can see Stravios trying to move up against that late line. He's hugging it right on it, trying to catch a draft against Nathan Adrian. He's got a better than a half second lead, so Nathan Adrian is looking good. Big turn though, though by Stravios. He came back on it. 25 meters left. Jeremy Stravios below Nathan Adrian, trying to inch up on Adrian, but Adrian is holding strong, and the United States will win gold in the four and a three relay again. France with a silver medal and Phelps with Olympic gold medal. Number